Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Crystal Goddess. Today we are going to be doing the card reading. Uh, what I mean by that is I draw normally um, one card for each of the zodiac signs. Um, the cards have crystals on one side and angel uh, angel cards on the other. Um, I'm just going to be looking at the crystals that come up and the idea is that these are the crystals that will help your zodiac sign throughout January, um, as we are in January. So the first one I'm going to do is Capricorn, which is Kyanite, which indicates that you're feeling a little bit off kilter, you're feeling a little bit confused, um, you want to regain your centre. Kyanite is a fantastic gemstone for that. It is one of the only crystals, if not the only crystal, that can realign all your chakras, all of them. You don't need a different crystal for each one. It's fabulous. It's also known as a truth stone. Um, so it's great for you finding your inner voice and your inner uh, knowledge and what you want to say. So it's a good one all round. If you are feeling off kilter, get your hands on this one. So Capricorns, this is your crystal for January. Um, then I've got Cancer. Cancer is black obsidian. Again, it's kind of indicating that things are all over the place for you at the moment. It's a very grounding stone, so it indicates that you need a bit of grounding yourself. It's also a stone that is often used for cord cutting. So maybe you should look at your, your situation. Are there relationships that you don't need anymore? Are there circumstances that you need to forget about? Are there things that are just draining you of your energy that you just don't need any more. Sit down, get yourself some obsidian, have a cord cutting meditation. I have got a cord cutting meditation um, on the, this channel, so if you have a look for that one. And get back to knowing what you want. Don't give your negative energy to other people or other circumstances anymore. This is the stone for you for January. Then I've got Virgo. Amazon eye, it's kind of indicating that you're holding on to something. It's kind of indicating that there are things that have been left unsaid that really you want to say. Maybe combine this with kyanite so you can find what the truth of what you want to say is. Um, it would really help to pair those two up. So just take a moment, find out what it is you really want to address, what it is you really want to say, and just contemplate the best way of doing it. Um, Amazonite is your stone for January. Then we've got Gemini. Gemini, your unakite. This is a, a gemstone that's often connected to the heart chakra, which indicates right now you might be feeling a little bit of a block. You might be feeling a little bit like you're not letting love in or things that are not going the way that you want them to. It indicates there's a bit of trouble emotionally. Something's happened that you're not able to let go of. So this one is a great one for helping you to focus on yourself again, helping you to realise what it is that's causing that block. Focus on you. Focus on you, take some time, meditate, maybe take a nice warm bath. Just think about everything that's been going on and come back to centre and, and really focus on you. Also, this card itself on it is saying you need to watch your diet as well. It says watch your diet, embrace your emotions. Imagine the food you eat provides all the nutrients necessary for good health. So how many is that through? One, two, three, four... Taurus, Pophilite. You're wanting a better understanding of a situation. Now, that might be that you want to en reach enlightenment. It might be that something's happening at the moment you're not quite sure of. This is indicating that what you need to do is get yourself an Apophilite, sit in a quiet room, meditate on the subject and find out what the actual answer is. You have the ability to do it, so it'll give... Um, mental clarity and it'll help with self-acceptance as well. It says here, um, open your consciousness, listen to your soul's truth and embrace it without judgment. Mental clarity and self-acceptance are gifts of a regular meditation practice. So that one's indicating that this month might be a good month to start meditating if you haven't already done so. Then there is Aries. This indicates Aries that you are 
very, very capable of giving a lot of love, a lot of praise, um, a lot of joy out to people, but you find it very difficult to receive it. So maybe you need to look at the blocks that you've got put in place. It feels like it's around the heart area, um, and this is a stone that is quite often connected to the heart area, uh, mainly because you've got the green and the sort of purpley red colours coming through there as well but it is a wonderful stone again sit with it just resting on your heart meditate with it for a little bit and to try and find out what it is that's blocking that chakra help to release that chakra which will then enable you to receive the love in and once you're willing to accept love i think you'll find you'll see it coming from lots of different angles so that is aries i'm just going to tick that one off sagittarius your red jasper that indicates that you've been putting things off a bit too long you've been procrastinating um speak up for yourself do the things you want to do do the things that you were saying oh, i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow do it tomorrow everything has small steps everything has small steps so just don't look at the big picture in regard of oh my goodness that's a mountain that i need to climb and i'm not going to get to the top think of ignore the top for a second you know you want to get there just think of that first step and then think of the second step and once you achieve the second step think of the third step because every journey starts with the first step so red jasper is the one for you then we've got aquarius oh aquarius now are you feeling a bit worried about money are you feeling like you might want to start your own business there's a lot of money um, concerns in January for you, whether that is you're planning on setting up a, a new business venture, whether that's you're struggling a bit financially. Um, get yourself pyrite if you have some pyrite. Um, Citrine is also a very good stone. And just trust that things are going to be okay. And if you are thinking of setting up your own business, trust in your own abilities. And I mean, it says here, have confidence believe in yourself and your ability to be successful. You are able to make a career out of doing the thing you love. Might not be in the way you're expecting it to be, but you know what? Give it a go, you never know. So pyrite, you're pondering material gain in this month. Now, um, Scorpio, we've got a green adventuring for you, which means you're feeling a little bit unlucky at the moment. You're wanting to have a bit more luck in your life. This stone's actually telling you that you have all the luck you need. Focus on the positives. Focus on the positives in your life and you'll start seeing more and more of the good things coming in. So green adventuring is for you. Then we've got Leo. Um, you have tormented quartz which means you're feeling bombarded at the moment by electromagnetic frequencies. I understand, I, I really struggle with them. So you are probably in a situation where you're working from home, you're working um, with your laptop or your pad or your tablet or uh, phone in a lot of the time. And because you're at home, you find there's less distractions. So you're in front of those devices a lot more. So tominolated quartz is a great one. It, um, helps to absorb the the draining elements of the equipment shungite's also a very good one as well but this one's recommending tourmalinated quartz um it says amplify the protection from these draining forces by reconnecting with the earth get out in nature as much as you can it says take periodic breaks from electronics and re-energize yourself so if you do have anywhere you can go um, I don't know what the restrictions are in your areas of how far you can travel or anything like that but make sure it is within government guidelines um, get out in nature if you can if you can't open a window breathe in some fresh air just you need those breaks you really need those breaks at uh, Pisces we've got citrine it's indicating that you're finding it difficult with self-acceptance at the moment you've lost a bit of confidence um this is a great one to actually help that is really good for that that self-love and again it's a happy stone so the more happiness and joy you can get in your life the more confidence that's going to give you so this is a lovely one citrine is for you um and it says acknowledge your magnificence and focus on what you do well to increase your self-esteem 
And finally, we've got Libra. Libra is aquamarine. Aquamarine indicates that your emotions are feeling a little bit in turmoil. Aquamarine is a stone that was often used by travellers over the sea to help calm the waters. So this is, again, kind of going straight back to that. Spend some time by the water's edge. Might not be possible during the circumstances, but if you have the ability to step into a shower and just spend some time in a shower, or if you have a bath, have a lovely, long, luxurious bath. Take time to rebalance your emotions. Have the calming effects of aquamarine, have calming effects of water as well. So those are the crystals for you for January. Now, please remember, that I cannot give advice, I'm not legally able to give advice, um, I'm not an expert in these matters, I just really enjoy reading the crystal cards. Um, you have your own free will and whatever decisions you make are decisions that you make um, and I have no influence over that. I would really love any comments to come back to just see how accurate you think those stones are for you for this month. Um, maybe come back in February and comment and say yes that absolutely worked or no it completely didn't. Um, but it's a lovely deck of cards to work with. Mine out of that was the Kyanite which was the first one wasn't it? Yes, Kyanite. Um, so yeah let me know what your thoughts are on this and hopefully I will see you next time on The Crystal Goddess. Mwah, love to all.